Hey there, everyone. So I thought I'd do another video, which uh, I talk about um, interacting with the sales team. And so kind of um, how, how, how accountants and the sales team interact to do budgeting, to do forecasts, stuff like that. So when, when I was doing, doing revenue accounting for, uh, it was, uh, I, I've worked for two software companies, and uh, the first one was right out of school. It was my first job. And it was very intimidating because I worked with uh, millions of dollars of revenue and large customer bases. And so one of the things I had to do was I had to help project out revenue or uh, project out what the sales were going to be. And so we interacted with the sales team actually uh, bi-weekly. We had a bi-weekly call uh, that we called at the nerve center. And we would call in and on the phone would be different sales team. We had we had sales team throughout the country, and they would call in, and they had say you know one to four clients, and um, they would and the clients were large organizations, and they would say yeah we had this deal working in the pipeline. Um, it's going to be uh, approximately you know ten million dollar deal, and um, it's going to be uh, probably going to close there. It's like they would rate it. it you know, is, is it likely or not likely or, or is it dead in the water uh, as far as, as closing the deal in the current quarter? And then what we would do is we, after we would get that, that, that amount of money um, from them, we would get a copy of the contract that would be potentially signed or at least get some sort of the parameters around the deal. Cause you'll know from your prior accounting classes that revenue is recognized differently depending upon the business model, depending upon when when you earn the revenue. And so we would find out the components of the contract, uh, if the deal was likely to close within the quarter, figure out how much revenue is going to be made per business model for that contract, and then project out, okay, this is where we're seeing that we're coming in. At. Therefore, if we're going to come in lower than what the Wall Street's expectations were, we had to find a different way to make up that revenue um, so we can meet the expectations of, the wall, of wall Street because they set – you know, certain, um, they said certain numbers on you that they expect you to meet each quarter. And if not, that means, you know, investors could see that as your business might be not growing as much as they thought it was going to be growing. So we would have to, so we would find out what, what sales were going to come in on this call each week or uh, every two weeks. And we would find out what revenue is going to be made from those deals, okay, that we can include in the quarter. And Another aspect that we would talk about is what what was the outstanding accounts receivable. So if we had a lot of accounts receivable outstanding, we would um, uh, we would talk with the sales staff, and also I would I would be in touch with the client as well. So me and the sales guy, we would or saleswoman, we would we would interact and, and say, um, have you talked to the budget officer, or did you talk to the uh, accounts payable specialist? or the accounts payable manager, when are they going to pay this $50,000 invoice? When are they going to pay this $500,000 invoice? And then we would actually project how much cash we're going to be bringing in because if, if you know anything from taking classes here at Grantham, you should know that cash flow is very important to a business. So we would only not only work with the, with the revenue or with the sales team to project out the revenue for the quarter, we would also uh, work with the sales team to project out the cash. Um, from, the, the, from a post I did, um, uh, originally, um, in this within this week, I talk about uh, we would actually make uh, cash uh, projections of cash flow that we're expected to collect from the clients, and we would work with the sales team that way. I went a little bit more in detail with that post. So anyway, I hope this gives you some more insight. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have had some similar experiences, and you can kind of interact with them on the uh, discussion board. So hope you enjoyed, everyone. Thanks.